you look at the statistics, I think of all those so-called blockbusters, we're talking about mainstream filmmaking, it's between 5 and 9% uh, of those are being directed by women, and that's not a big percentage when you think about it. And when you think about the talent pool out there, and a wonderful thing about women in film is it's, it's not pandering to a niche, it's not talking about women in film as if they're a niche, but it's talking about you know, the stones that still need to be turned over by women. There's a lot of things, a, a lot of doors that still need to be opened. Not because women don't have the ability, um, but simply because there's a, a lack of imagination. You know, there's certain inroads that have been made and that certain pathways that have been trod. And I think that women are saying, well, why does it have to be done that way? It's been an extraordinary year. It just keeps on giving. <laughs> I keep on taking. Um, no, it's it's been great. But I think that's a useless thing to think. You know, I mean, it's it's somebody else's go and some next year. And I mean, it's it's not that I've arrived anywhere in particular. It's wonderful to be recognised, but it's very random. You know, there's five of us, four of us being recognised tonight, but equally, there's another 25 that could have been in our place. It's really, I mean, it's surreal to be honoured with women that I adore and respect and cherish. I mean, I'm obsessed with Frozen, so that's going to be a big, big fangirl moment for me. Um, and Eva Longoria is one of my dearest friends, and I, I just couldn't love her more. Kate Blanchett's one of my heroes. I'm a huge Rose Byrne fan, so it's, it's thrilling to be here. love nights when we get to honor each other as women. It's extra fun, you know, because girls rock, so it's fun to be able to hang with the ladies and celebrate each other. Um, I'm grateful for that. There isn't a way that Scandal hasn't changed my life. Um, I mean, one of the, in terms of being an actor, it's just so rewarding to be able to be challenged every week with such beautiful material and such extraordinary actors that I get to work with. Um, and also, I have found a family. I mean, I, I have a great family, but, and I, it's so great to have a lot of family. I mean, the, the actors on Scandal are, we really love each other, so, yeah. Um, lots, but I can't share them, because then the surprise would be out. Okay. The most challenging would be my philanthropy. I mean, it's just so many problems that we need to solve in the world and so much inequality um, that to go about tackling it in a new way, in an interesting way, in a, in a sustainable way is hard. Um, but it's the work that brings me most joy and it's definitely the most rewarding of anything that I do. The easiest acting. <laughs> You get to sit in a chair and get your hair done and your makeup, but no, I know. No, I'm so honoured and thrilled and it's such an encouragement and um, these women that I'm amongst tonight who are being honoured are really, I'm a fan of all of them and uh, I, I can't wait to meet them all and, um, and this organisation is really, it's so cool and vital and uh, you know, I'm you know, really thrilled to be, yeah, kind of can't believe it <laughs> that I'm here. And, uh, I love you see if you're lucky. Yeah. yeah. Why do you say that? Because so many people make a mistake, but they, mistake, but they stay there. She was an extraordinary woman, and we need to have as many of those as we possibly can, particularly in this profession, which is very often about just too much fluff. It's nice to have a Maya around to keep all of us in shape. Starting early development on the Broadway musical. Yeah, what's up with what's the plan with this? Do you have a time frame? I don't, you know, it's so new. I